This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, going to have Shas Havoy says we prepare for Parashas Yisroi. We're going to speak today about a very fundamental idea, and it's a little bit of a lamdash idea, but also the idea of Hashkafa. It's very involved, and it's uh, a bit uh, a bit involved. But let us begin. The Ramban in this week's parasha tells us a big cloud. And he is going on the Aser Sadebrois, on the fact that by Shabbos, in Parshas Yisra it says Zachar, and in Parshas Valas Chanan it says Shama. It says the Ramban, Ve'emesu, the truth is, Gamkein, Kimidas Zachar, Ramzoi B'mitzvah Sasei. Zachar refers to the positive command, and says the Ramban, positive commands, V'hu ha'yoytse mimidas ha'ahava. Positive commands comes and em- come and emanate from love. The meat of mercy. Because in order to do a mitzvah, in order to be motivated to do a mitzvah, you're not scared not to do the command. You do the mitzvah out of love, out of a desire to fulfill the ratzon of your master. Ki ha'oisa mitzvah sadainav, one who fulfills the commands of his master. Ahavloi, he's beloved to his master. Vadainav marachim alav, and the master has mercy on him. However, umidas shamar, the mid of shamar, the mitzvahs loisase, the is the love of Shabbos. Where do where does the carefulness not, not to violate love and come from? Vehu lemidas hadin, loisase comes from din. The yoytze mimidas hayira, it emanates from fear. Why would a person not violate the commands of his master? Because he's afraid the master may punish him. Ki hanishmar measos davara beini adonav. Someone who's careful not to do something bad in the eyes of the Master, Yare Yaisa, he fears him. Therefore, again, what we're going to discuss today is what is more important in Judaism, a mitzvah asay, a positive command, to fulfill a positive command, or a mitzvah loisase, or a negative command, not to violate the negative. Says Ramban, asay comes from what Shmida? Ava. Loisase comes from Yira. Therefore, says Ramban, Balachain, Mitzvah sasei g'dayla mi mitzvah sasei. A mitzvah sasei is greater than a loy sasei. Why? K'mai sheha ava g'dayla mi yira. Love is greater than fear. Ki ha mekayim v'oisa b'gufay uvama moinay ratzay na doinav. Someone who fulfills and does with his body and his money the will of his master. Hu g'dol me'a nishmar me'a sos rabbe enav. Is greater than someone who does, who is careful not to do what's wrong. In other words, I would ask you, you have two servants. One of them doesn't violate the will of the master, and the other one does what the master asks him to. The one who fulfills the will of the master and does the positive commandments that the master asks him to do is greater than the one who merely vo- uh, avoids violating the, pro- the restrictions of the master. Says Ramban, because Ase is greater than Loisase, and because Avo is greater than Yira, that's why the Gemara tells us in Yevamis, we know there's a klal, what's the pshat? Pshat is, Ava is doicha, yira. Says Ramban, that is why the punishment for violating a lav is greater than the punishment for violating a say. Let's say you violate a lav, what's the punishment? Malchus or Misa. What if you merely don't fulfill an assay? For example, let's say you daven by 9 o'clock Shachros and Shabbos, and you didn't look at this man, and you didn't realize that you missed man Krishma. Mm-hmm. You blew it! It's Mauva Sheno Yachaliskain. But what's the punishment? You're scot free, no punishment. By Bezdin. Why? Why do you only get punished by Bezdin if you violate a lav and not if you violate an assay? Because even though Ava is greater than Yira, but L- Yira is a more basic Mida. So we, if you're not on the high level of Ava, we can't punish you. You're not on such a high Madrega. But if you violate the low Madrega of Yira, then we can really nail you. And therefore, therefore the pun- there's a greater punishment for Yira then for Avam, therefore the punishment for violating a lav, Godal is greater, and we can actually punish you. For example, lashes and death. We do not execute any judgment against someone who fails to fulfill an assay. 
unless the person does it rebelliously. For example, let's say a person makes a, a rebellious statement. I'm not going to take a lula vanessa. I'm not going to wear tzitzis. I'm not going to sit in a sukkah. Sanhedrin will smack him until he does it to the point where they almost kill the guy. But that's only if he's doing it out of rebellion. But in general, Rabbi Sai, what is greater, Ava or Yira? Ava. What is greater, Ase or Lois Ase? Ase. What are you punished for more than the other? Lois Ase. Why? Because Lois Ase is a more basic um, uh, Midah, and if you don't have the more basic, you're more accountable. Okay, this is the famous Ramban in Parshas Yisroi. You can't let the Parsha go by without knowing this Ramban. That Ase is Ava, Zohar is Ava, Shamar is Yira. Ase is greater than Lois Ase, and therefore Ase is Doicha Lois Ase. This week is Zohar. Yeah. Not Shabbos Zohar, but... In the, he's, Zachar, yeah. He's the, one, the first one who says it? He's the first one who says it. He's the only one who says it. Really? <laughs> and everyone jumps on the Ramban. Zachar is Yaseh. Comes along the Gemara and Yavamis. And the Gemara and Yavamis wants to know. We know Aseh is Doicha Lois Aseh. Is Aseh Doicha Lois Aseh Sheyesh Boy Kares. Says the Gemara, just because I say it's doicha alav, who says it's doicha alav sheyish vaykares? To which the Gemara says back, but why should it be doicha alav in the first place? Alav is greater than I say. So if an I say has the ability to push off alav, which is greater than it, then maybe then it could push off alav sheyish vaykares anyway. The whole I say doicha loisase is not logical. So once it could push off alav, it could push off alav sheyish vaykares anyway. Why not? Mali Yisr Rabba, Mali Yisr Zuta. So, look in the Gemara number two. Amar, he says back, Amar, Damrina, Asi, Asi, Vidarcha, Lois, Asi, Lois, Asi, Greda. That's only a regular Lois, Asi. Lois, Asi, Sheish, Bekaris, Misham, Atle. Tadachi, you have any evidence that Asi, Kavidarcha, Lois, Asi, Sheish, Bekaris? Amar! So he said back, Atu Asi, Doichas, Lois, Asi? How could an Asi be Doichas, Lois, Asi? Lav, Lois, Asi, Chamar, Mine! Isn't a lot more important than an ase? And still, the kaasi ase v'doichale? And an ase pushes it off? Mali chumra zutra, mali chumra rabba. If it could push off a lav, which is weaker, than, which is stronger than it, it could push off a lav, sheish by kares. Says Rabbi Akiva Eger in the Golion Ashas, <coughs> wait a second. Ayin Ramban, Parshas Yisrael, Pasuk Zachar, Siyam Ashabas. <laughs> Why is Rabbi Kivega telling us look at that? Because this Gemara is a stira to the Ramban. Why? The Ramban says it's logical. There's a method to the formula of Asay Dechaloisa. Say, what's the method? Asay is Ava. Yira Loisa says Yira. Ava push off Yira. And the Gemara says, no, there is no method. It's illogical. It shouldn't push it off. Really, Lois Asay is more, is greater than an Asay. And it doesn't make sense, Asay is Dechal Asay. But once it's a, a known rule, so let the Asay be Dechal Av Sheish Bei Kares. We have the whole concept of Chuba Mi'av and Chuba Mi'ira. Yeah, we do. And now we say one is better than the other one. Yeah. Because <clears throat> Ava is greater than Yira. <laughs> he was saying that he's... No, the Gemara never, never translated... That Ase is more Ava than, and, and Lois is more Yura. Maybe they're both Yura. I'm afraid to lose the reward. I love, in other words, it's the Ramban who injected his own interpretation that Ase is Ava and Lois is Yura, and therefore Ase is greater than Lois. But Rabbi Kiva Eger seems to be bothered that the Ramban's formula for Ase Doicha Lois Ase contradicts the Gemara in Yavamas. Now, even though Rabbi Kivager doesn't spell out what his question is, he just very concisely tells us <laughs> to look in the Ramban, in the Sefer Yad Malachi, which was a work which was written by someone, I believe in the 17th century, who wrote a book of methodology of Shas. He, in his 515th Klal of Shas, he says, an Ase is weaker than a Lois Ase. Like the Gemara in Yavama says that it doesn't make sense that Asay should be Dechal Oisasay. And he brings other Rayas. He says that that the Gemara says in uh, 
Yom HaKippurim, that if it could be mechaper for a lav, it certainly could be mechaper for an asay. And the Rambam says in Perak Chavdal, in Hilchus Ishos, Halacha Dalet, Chai Ve'asay, are more kal. So, the Yad Malachi says that it's a klal b'chol atorah kula. Asay is weaker than lois asay. Asay is not as chum or as lois asay. And why is it that way? And he asks, but, Ulefizeh, like seven lines from the bottom of his piece, Plia dasimeni. I can't understand what the Ramban is talking about, that Asay is greater than Lois Asay, and Ava is greater than Yura, and that's why Asay is Dech Lois Asay. Bechol Hashas, we always say, Asay is more Kal than Lois Asay. So I can't understand what the Ramban is doing by supplying this logic for Asay Dech Lois Asay, that Asay is greater than Lois Asay. It's just simply not true. The Gemara in Yavama says very clearly, seemingly the Yad Malachi is asking what Rabbi Kivager is bothered by, that the Gemara in Yavama says, why should I say Bidoy Chalais Asay? Isn't a lav more chamer than an Asay? Isn't a lav more important than an Asay? And if yet there's a Gezeris HaKos of the Asay, could be Doy Chalit, let it be Doy Chalav Sheish Bekars as well. So says the Yad Malachi, I simply don't get what the man is saying. He says, we know, everybody knows, the reason why a lav is more chamer than an assay is because a lav you violate actively and an assay you violate b'shev al So what is Ramban in this week's parasha talking about? He is up and against all of Shas. That a lav is more important than an assay. Now we know, one of the lamdash uh, svarim on Shas is a sefer, Kapos Tamarim. Kapos Tamarim was written by Maram ben Chaviv. Aram ben Chaviv was a descendant of the Muke Yosef. And it's a very lamdish to say for Rabbi Kiva Eger himself wrote footnotes on the Kapais Tamaram. You have heard Kapais Tamaram Masechta Sukkah. He also wrote on Masechta Yuma Toysus Yom Kippurim. He also wrote Masechta Rosh Hashanah Yom Trua. Aram ben Chaviv. And he wants to bring a raya to this Ramban from a Gemara Masechta Yuma number 5. Okay? Tanarabanan. Ready? We have to think carefully. This is not a gadget over here. Okay? Tanarabanan. Mi she'ach bomos. Right? Someone has an illness. Somebody is very ill. He needs to eat. If he doesn't eat, he could die. Ma'achil enoisei ha'kal ha'kal. So you want to feed him. It's Yom Kippur. So we want to feed him uh, the lesser of the... Uh, or even if it's not Yom Kippur. If he has no other food, we have to keep his life. So we'll try to feed him that which is less usher first. So let's say we have a whole, a whole smorgasbord. Maybe. We have a nevela, trefa, chazer treif. Yeah? We have different isurim, tevel, shviyas. The shayla is, what should we feed? And the guy's starving. He wants to eat. How do we feed the guy? Tevel or nevela. If you have a choice of tevel or nevela. No, Rabbi, so what would you say? Tevel is what? Is Yechayv Misa. Right, Mr. Bidei Shemayim. If you eat tevel, if you eat treif and nevela, it's only a laugh. So machilin oisin nevela, we feed him a nevela. Okay, that makes sense. Tevel ushvius. If you eat tevel, you're chayiv misa. If you eat shvius, it's only an iser asay. Shvius, we feed him shvius. Tevel is what? Um, food that shuma has not been taken off of. Is more than Sure. Tevel, you have Misa. What? Tevel, too, is a problem. What? Tevel, okay, again. Tevel and Nevela. We feed him Nevela. Tevel, Ushvias, Shvias. Rashi says, why? Look at number six. La Acher's mana beer. After the time of the beer. Sha Tevel, the Misa, the Shamayim, the Hashvias, the Asay. So as we're going to see, the Kappa is Tamaram in his Toysus Yom HaKimur, he asks a very simple question. Once I know that Tevel on Nevela, that a lav sheyish baikares is worse than a regular lav, and therefore we feed you a Nevela before we feed you Tevel, then of course if it's Tevel and Shvias, we would feed you Shvias. Because if, if we are so worried that a lav sheyish baikares, that we would even feed you a lav, isn't it a Kavachoymer? That if it's a lav sheish by kares, we would feed you an asay? Why would the Gemara have to say it? 
Elamai. Because you might have a Havamina. That even though Lav Sheyish Bokaris is worse than a Lav, but maybe an Ase is more Chamor even than a Lav Sheyish Bokaris. To which the Gemara says, no, a Lav Sheyish Bokaris is more Chamor than an Ase. But an Ase would be more Chamor than a Lav. In other words, what would the Halacha be? Listen carefully. If you had an ill person, and you could, the Gemara doesn't discuss this case. You're listening? Or you're, in, you're ready in uh, Shein and B'Shabbos Tainuk? Yeah, if you're ready in and B'Shabbos, you forget it. Listen. The Gemara says, Tevel Nevela. Tevel Nevela. It's what? You feed him Nevela. Lav is, is better than Lav Shish Bekaris. Tevel Shviyas. Asay is better than Lav Shish Bekaris. What about if it's Nevela, which is a Lav, or Shviyas, which is an Asay? The Gemara doesn't discuss that case. The Gemara discusses Lav Sheyesh Baikares versus Ase, and the Gemara says Ase is better. But that's Mashma, Ase is better than Lav Sheyesh Baikares, but it's not better than a Lav, and Ase is worse than a Lav. Like the Ramban! That it's worse to violate an Ase than a Lav. Otherwise, if I already know that Lav Sheish Bokaris is worse than a Lav. Why does Gemara even have to say Lav Sheish Bokaris is worse than Ase? Of course it's worse than an Ase. If it's worse than a Lav, a Lav is, a Lav is worse than an Ase. So if I know we, we would give you a Lav, of course we would give you an Ase. Or I'll give you another, look at number seven. You got what I'm saying? The fact that the Gemara has to say that if it's a choice between violating an Ase and a Lav Sheish Bokaris, you know what? Violate the Ase. Of course you violate the Ase. You would even violate a Lav. The answer is just because you violate a lav, you would think an ase is worse than a lav. Maybe you couldn't violate an ase. Look in the Rambam. Look at number seven. Ketzad, hayu lefan of tevel unavela. If you have tevel and nevela, what does the Rambam say? Machi lenoisai nevela tchila. We give you the nevela. Shaha tevel b'misa. Now listen to this. Nevela, which is only a lav. Usviche shvius, not shvius. What's sviche shvius? The aftergrowth of shvius. Are you allowed to eat sviche shvius? It's an iser drabanan. Because if you grow the, if you eat the aftergrowth of shvius, people may plant on purpose and say, "Oh, I just dropped out of my pocket." Okay. Machilin oisay sviche shvius shasuran midivre. Seifrin. Listen carefully, the Ramam says, if you have a choice between eating Nevela, eating Hebrew National, or eating Sviche Shvies, or eating what? Drabanon of Shvies. Eat Drabanon of Shvies. Mashma! But what if it was Nevela and Shvies Doi Rai? So which one should you eat? No, this is not rocket science, yeah? If you have a choice between Nevela and Isser Drabanon, you eat the Isser Drabanon. But if it's a choice between Nevela and Isser Dairais of Shvius, you should eat what? Nevela. So we see from the Ramam what's worse, Lav or Ase? Ase. Ase. The Ramam just says feed the guy Drabanon over Nevela. But if it was Shvius Dairais, then you won't be able to feed the guy Shvius Daraisa. Because the Ramam seems to hold like the Ramban that it's worse to violate an Ase than a Lav. So it says, look at number 10. The Taisus Yom HaKippurim on the Gemara, Tevel and Shvius, you eat Shvius. Rashi says, because Shvius is only an Ase, says the Taisus Yom HaKippurim, once I know Tevel and Nevela, you give him the nevela, kosher kain, tevel and shvius, you should give him shvius. Why do I need to say it? Isn't shvius more kal than nevela? And the Rambam says that if you have a choice between nevela and sviche shvius, you give sviche shvius. Why doesn't the Rambam say a bigger chiddush shvius dairaisa? Mashma midvarov. Listen to carefully the Tosis. Yom HaKippurim says that if a guy is very sick and if you have a choice between Nevela and Shvius, <coughs> you should give him Nevela. Why? Because an Ase is worse than a Lois Ase. Who in the right mind would say an Ase is worse than a Lois Ase? Who would say such a thing? Who would say such a thing? 
Says the Toysus Yom HaKippurim, I have a raya from who? I'm a farish in this week's parsha. The Ramban. The Ramban also seems to maintain that I say is worse than Lois I say. And that's why the Ramban says, why is I say Deicha Lois I say? Because I say is Ava, and Lois I say is Yira, and therefore Ava pushes off Yira. But as the Taisus Yom Kippurim, this is against the Hoshas. The Gemara Menachai says, look at number 8, that on a lav, Hashem could give you punishment in this world. And I say a person will only be punished in this world the Eidan Rizcha, at a time that Hashem's angry. Or the Gemara in Yuma, Rabbi Sai. Let's say you miss Man Kriyishma and you do Tshuva. What happens to you? Immediately forgiven. The Gemara says when it comes to Chiyuve say if you do Tshuva, you get immediate forgiveness. But if you violate a lav, let's say you wear Shatnis and then you do Tshuva, Tshuva doesn't work alone. You have to wait till Yom Kippur. Right? Tshuva toile. Yom Kippur mechaper. So you see from that Gemara, what's worse, a lav or an ase? A lav! So says the Taisus Yom HaKippurim, even though the Ramban says ase is greater than a lav, and the Gemara Mesech the Yuma, which seems to say that only Tevel and Shvius, Shvius is worse than Tevel. But, excuse me, Tevel is worse than Shvius. But Nevela and Shvius, Shvius would be worse than Nevela, because I say it's worse than the like I say, the Ramban. And the Rambam, who seems to hold that Shvius is worse than Nevela, are against Kal Kalashas. Because throughout Shas, we always know Lav is more Chamer than an Asay. And yet the Gemara and Yuma, and yet the Ramban in this week's parasha say Asay is more Chamer than a Lav. And therefore Why says. It's Gzeres HaKasav, yeah. And therefore the Toysus Yom HaKippurim concludes Halach Lamaisa that if someone, Layelena, is very ill and we don't know what to feed him Nevela or Shvius Hadavar Tzarech Talmud I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Maybe you say Pikuach Nefesh is Deich HaShavis. It doesn't say Pikuach Nefesh, the Lois Assays of Shabbos. It's the Assays of Shabbos. Yeah. Once you're in a category of Pikuach Nefesh, we say it's the Assays of Shabbos. Yeah, yeah. We don't make a chilek. When it's something's Pikuach Nefesh. But the Gemara says, says no, but we, we feed him Hakala Kal Tchilo. We feed him of lesser. <laughs> it may make a difference when it comes to Pikuach Nefesh. A Chaibahem out trumps. Uh, we don't have to go out of our way. I mean, if you have a one who's in front of him, let's say the guy. But the Gemara, the Gemara is saying there's order of operations. There's Kal Hakal Akal. So let's say the guy has to go 20 Then it, it switches? Yeah. In other words, in Nor... We're all in front of him, so which one do you pick? Which one do you pick? The Gemara says, Hakal, Hakal. In other words, the Toysus Yom HaKippurim says, on the one hand, they have all of Shas, that seems to say, Lav is more Chamer than I say. And on the other hand, they have a Rambana on Chumash. And I have the Mashmois of the Rambam and the Mashmois of the Gemara Yuma. So Yad Malachi asks, the Mechilas Kvay Tarasa, and the Maram Ben Chaviv, if you have all of Shah saying, a lav is more chamer than I say, then what does the Ramban al Torah mean to you? You're going to push, you're going to push aside the whole Shas because of a Ramban on Chumash? We know throughout Shas, lav is more chamer than I say. So the Ramban and Chumash, you have a Shver Ramban, you can't push away Gemaras because of the Ramban. Ah, you also have the Gemara and the Sechta Yuma that seems to say that if it's a matter of Nevela or Shvius, you should feed him Nevela. He says, No, not a Mashmais. What are you going to do if all of Shas, If all of Shas is telling you Lav is more Chomer than say, then you have to say that even the, though the Gemara is not so mashma like this in Masech the Yuma, if you have a guy who's sick and you want to know should you feed him uh, Nevela or Shvius, you got to feed him Shvius. You got to feed him Shvius. Either Ramban, no, 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 no. You know, you can't just uh, push aside Shas because of Ramban. Okay? Comes along the commentary Kor Hazav on the Ramban. And the, the Kor Hazav brings down the Gemara in Yuvamos, which is mashma that Eloi Sase is more Chomer than an Asse. And the, all the various Gemaras and Shas that Olav seems to be more Chomer than Asse. Ay, the Maram ben Chaviv is Medayek from the Gemara in Yuma, 
that if it was a choice between that if it was a choice between Nevela and Shvius, it would seem we would first give him Nevela. And the Ramban seems to support, and then he brings well the Yad Malach. He says you can't just push off all the Gemaras and Shas from this idea of the Ramban. Says the Kor Hazav that the Yad Malachi did not understand what the Ramban meant, and that is, listen to this. The Ramban never said that an assay is more chamor than a lois assay. The Ramban said, if you look at the words of the Ramban, the Ramban said, Mitzvah assay gedoy la mi mitzvah slice assay. Mitzvah assay gedoy la mi mitzvah slice assay. Says the Kor Hazav, there's a very big difference between the word gedoy la and Chamura. The Gemara in Yevamis that says Lois Asei is more important, it didn't say Lois Asei is Gedoyla, it said Lois Asei is Chamura. So we have two Lashinas. We have the Lashin of the Ramban, that Asei is Gedoyla me Lois Asei, and we have the Lashin of Shas, that Lois Asei is Chamura me Asei. What does this mean? The Gemara says in Nedarim, Gedoyla Mila, Shadoicha Eshabis HaChamura. Chamor is always a word describing something in relation to punishment. Gedoyla is always when you describe something in relation to reward. You want to know what do you get more reward for? For fulfilling an assay or not violating a love? You get more schar for fulfilling an assay than for not violating a love. You want to know what do you get more oinish for? For violating a love or for not fulfilling an assay? You get more oinish for not fulfilling... You get more oinish for violating a love than for not fulfilling an assay. The Ramban just means the following. In Asi has more schar than not violating a lav. And a lav has more oinish than for not fulfilling an Asi. And therefore, the Ramban says, Asi is the chalais Asi. Because if the two of them are standing in front of you, and now you want to know what to do, I could fulfill tzitzis and get schar, but I'm going to be getting some, I'm going to have some oinish for violating shatnas, or I could try to get schar by not fulfilling shatnas and lose out on the reward on not fulfilling tzitzis. So now, in the grand scheme of things, we want to weigh what's greater. The reward I'm going to get from fulfilling the assay or the, or the punishment I'm going to get from violating the lav of shatnas. So if we could put on our Torah glasses and see which one carries more weight, the gedula of the assay, the schar of the assay, or the oinish of the lav, the schar of the assay in the scheme of things is much greater than the oinish of the lav, and that is why the Torah says that when the two of them square off in a head-to-head match, assay is doicha lois assay. The Ramban never said assay is more chomer than lois assay. The Ramban said assay is godol me lois assay. Chomer is a description of punishment. Gedula is a description of reward. So in the grand scheme of things, the reward is greater than the punishment, and therefore assay is doicha lois assay. But, says the Korazov, but says the Korazov. So we don't know about this right. And when it comes to a sick person, listen, if it comes to a sick person, and you want to know what should you feed him? Should you feed him Shavius, which is an Isra Asay? Or should you feed him Nevela, which is an Isra Lav? What has more Einesh? In other words, the Ramban was talking in a case where there's a Kiyom mitzvah. So where there's a Kiyom mitzvah, the reward for the Kiyom mitzvah, mitzvah is greater than the punishment for violating the Avera. But in the case where a guy's sick and there is no Kiyom mitzvah, now it's just a matter of what's worse. Is it worse to violate an Asay or is it worse to violate a Lav? Says the Korazov, he argues on the Toysus Yom HaKippurim, it's clear! Feed him the Shvius and don't feed him the Nevela. 
Because the Ramban never meant Asay is more Chamor. The Ramban just meant Asay is more Godal, is more reward. However, the Kor Hazav, and I think we're going to try to argue with him, if you could just hang on for a minute. The Kor Hazav says the following question still nags me. At the end. And that is, Halacha and Shulchan Aruch and Archaim Simen Tafresh Nun Vav New Avi Let's say a person had to be Mekayim and Mitzvah say How much money do you have to give up to spend to be Mekayim and Asay? Chaymesh One fifth But to violate a lav you have to give up all your money But wait a second Wait a second But according to the way I'm understanding the Ramban the Ramban is saying that when we say an assay is greater than a lois assay, that's only in a case of a kiyom. So this, so here, what, when a person has the opportunity to fulfill an assay, we are giving the opportunity to him to be mekayim an assay. So if you have to give up all your money to vi- not to violate a lav, koshukain, you should have to give up all your money to fulfill an assay. Because after all, if you have to spend so much money not to get punished, well, reward is greater than punishment. Like we see, I say as the say the Ramban says, you certainly should have to give up all your money to fulfill an assay. And that the Kor Hazav says still bugs me. <coughs> this is a major sugya, and, and uh, we're just, you know, getting our appetite wet a little bit to hear some of the svaras here. Again, what was the question about again? Yeah. This yeah. question is that the way we explain the Ramban, the Ramban only said Asay do Chalais Asay in a case where the two of them come together. Should I fulfill the Asay and violate the Lav, or should I should, should I keep the Lav and not fulfill the Asay? Well, reward is greater than than punishment, and therefore Asay is do Chalais Asay. But in a case, so that's the question. That's the question. That's the question. Very good question. Answer? <laughs> That's the question. So comes the Meshachachma, and the Meshachachma says in Parshas Vezois Habracha, number 16. The Meshachachma says. The whole point is we don't want you to be Oyvah and Lois Asay. But again, if you have Asay versus Lois Asay in one case, Asay do Chalas, you have Klein Betzitzis. We say, what should I do? Should I go after the reward and risk punishment? Or should I... Yeah, or should I... F- I should save myself from punishment but lose the reward. We say, oh, the, the potential ability to acquire reward... Right. But the fact is, you, well, know, the you want to get the skar of Kiyah of Mitzvah. In other words, the skar of Kiyah of Mitzvah is more <laughs> desirable even, yeah, even than the fun. potential loss of punishment. Yeah, that's what we're saying. I say the the schar is greater. The reward is greater. Mitzvah doing a bikumba say. Eloisa says a shevi al That's what we said in the beginning. No, but besides that, the reward, the 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 for the reward, the value of reward is greater than the than the value of avoiding punishment. And therefore, I say that's the svara of the Ramban. So the Meshachachma says a little bit of a different svara, and that is. Look at number 16. Haramban parashas Yisrael bi'er tam da asay do chalais asay. That even though lois asay is more chamor, you know when lois asay is more chamor? You have two guys. One guy violates a lav, and one guy doesn't say the shema in the morning. Who's worse? The guy who violates the lav is worse than the guy who doesn't fulfill asay. That's if you're doing it on your own. So that means the guy who's wearing shatness is a bigger rebel than the guy who doesn't fulfill an asay. In other words, if two people are doing two respective acts, one is violating a lav and one is not fulfilling an assay, the guy who's violating the lav is a greater rebel than the guy who's fulfilling an assay. But what about somebody who is faced with the square off between Klayim and Sitzis? And he wants to know, what does God want me to do? Does God prefer me to fulfill the assay or does God prefer me to violate... To, to um, not to violate the lav. 
whatever he's doing, he's not doing out of rebellion. Whatever, right, Miman of Shech, whatever he does, he's going to be doing something wrong. Either he's going to violate Shatnis, or he's not going to fulfill the assay. But whatever his violation is, he's not doing it out of rebellion. He's doing it because he, he wants to do what Hashem wants. So if he's not doing it out of rebellion... What is more preferable to God, the fulfillment of an assay, or the non-violation of a lav? God says, I prefer assay over a lav. In, in other words, uh, to me, an assay is more dear than a lav. Yeah, but then if I fulfill assay, I'm violating a more basic avera. God says, you're not the guy who's stam violating avera. You're trying to do what you think I would like you to do, and what I value more in this case. So under there, so in, there, in, these, in this case, Tashem, it's obje- an assay is objectively greater than a, a laugh. Not like the Korazov is saying that the value of reward is greater on the scales than the value of not getting punished. No, the value, that's not what it is. It's not a matter of schar va'oinash. It's a matter of what's more dear to God. Nasir Lois say the answer is not say. Right? In other words, like he says, Imanu Nishko Sadak, if we would uh, weigh on the scales of justice, Ma what is greater? Imlavar Halois Asay Lakaima say whether it's to violate the lav or to fulfill the assay. So we say assay is a mice of Ava. And someone who refrains from a lav is only showing Yira. And Ava is greater than Yira, and therefore it's better that says their Chalaisa say. I but now I'm violating a lav, I'm wearing tzitzis. Yeah, but you're not a rebel. But if you're Stam violating the Ratzan of Hashem, greater is someone who violates a lav. It's greater Ham, Hamimara, it's greater rebellion than someone who violates an Asay. Says in Meshachachma, it comes out very beautiful. That the Gemara tells us in Zvachim, Ein asay lo, doiche lois asay shebe mikdash. That even though asay is doiche lois asay, but in the base of mikdash, asay is not doiche lois asay. What's the pshat? Because in general, asay is doiche lois asay. Because greater is ava than yira. But the base of mikdash, where the shechina is shaira, and you have ten nisim, nisim, and there's so much ava over there, and that's why the Torah has to warn us so many times. Umi mikdashi tiro. Fear the mikdash, fear the mikdash, fear the You know why? Because ava, you don't have to remind somebody about the mikdash. The mikdash is what? Taichai ratzof ava. The mikdash is male ava. So you, the, the, the Torah never has to tell you, love Hashem in the mikdash. That's what the whole mikdash is. It's taichai ratzof ava. That's why the Torah repeats. Repeats, Omi Mikdashi Tiro. In the Mikdash, it's so easy to get carried away with Ava. That's why in the Mikdash, Asay is not Daichelay Sasay. Because there, you need to uphold the Yira. That's why wherever the Torah says, serve God, it says like this. It says like this. It says, So the love is what. Es Hashem Tiro. Whenever it talks about Avoida, which is Ava, it always warns first, watch out for the Yira. Because the Makayim Avoida, it's very easy to be kind of Ava. Don't forget about the Yira. That's why Ava is not Doiche Loisase in the Mikdash. That's why Eina say Doiche Loisase Sheba Mikdash. Wow. Okay. Can I say something? Okay. From the beginning, it came to my mind. Outstanding illustration. Yeah. But Asa, Asa, Doifel, Asa, Mishu Mahavim. Yeah. It's Akira's Yitzchak. Because Bokhut told him, take Abba Yitzchak. Yeah. He said, no, we're going to Moshe Mepashmi, he doesn't have to do it. Only, no, please do it. So he's pushing away all the teaching of people, all the, the Lord Yitzchak, first of all, teaching people not to be, not to mock a human being. Everything's pushing aside for Ahab. Ahab, Kakir, Asa, Shura. Even the Kosh Bokhut told him. But how about because he did he know he had a hundred thousand a thousand pressures in his mind. Yeah. A thousand will be destroyed, a lot of total values will be destroyed. But it's a habit of course broken to do it, it's not okay. It's very all the way it's not. Okay, that's not Ava Doicha Yira. That's that's Rashi says. The asset is to do take what's a karma. Hashem said do it. It's very good. Loisat is supposed to kill human being. But tell other people to teach not to kill human being. Okay, okay, one second. Let's let me just get back. The, so one second. The Korhazov is saying, the Pshad of the Ramban, right? The Korhazov asked on the Ramban. Everyone asked the Ramban, Ramban, you say that I say is doicha, let's say Ava is doicha yira, and I say is greater than a lav, but the Chorazov, we always say um, lav is more is greater than an say. So what did the Korhazov answer to that question? The Ramban merely said that 
Ase is Gadol, and Lav in Shas is Chamor. So it's like this, the Korazov said, that if it's Ase and Lois Ase in two different cases, in other words, what's more Chamor? Certainly a Lav is more Chamor. What's more reward? Certainly Ava is more reward than, than Yira. And that's why in general, Rabbi Isai, that's why in general, we say the following. In general, we say, Asay is, and Alois Asay, Alois Asay has much more punishment. But Asay is Doich Alois Asay, because in a head-on battle, the reward, the schar, is greater than the avoidance of Einesh. That's what the Kor Hazav said, but he didn't understand why when it comes to Asay, you don't have to give up as much money as when it comes to Alois Asay. The Mesha Chachma, I believe, is saying a different star. Mesha Chachma is saying, it's not that, you know why I say is Doich Aleis Asay? Because Asay is the reward, and Lois Asay is the Oynesh. And that's why the Mesha Chachma said, if it's a head to head battle, you always go after the Asay. If it's not a head to head battle, then Asay is more, ch- then Alav is more Chamor. The Kor HaZahav said, listen carefully, Kor HaZahav said that if you're in a case where somebody's a chayla and you want to know what should I feed him, should I feed him in a vela or should I feed him shviyas? So he said that the Taisus Yamaki Purim would say feed the guy in because Nevela is not as bad as shviyas because shviyas is, is worse as an assay to which the Kor HaZahav said, no, wait a second. The Ramban only said Ase is greater than the, and Lois Ase. That's when you have the opportunity for Kiyom. But in the case of the guy who's sick, you don't have the opportunity for Kiyom. You don't have the opportunity for Schar. So therefore in that case, the Kor Hazov said what? Feed the guy Shviyas. But what are you going to do? The Gemara says, the Gemara seems to indicate, like the, like the Taisus Yamaik Promas Madaik, the Gemara seems to indicate that you feed him Nevela. So, we want to say like this. It's, the Ramban does not mean that reward is greater than avoiding punishment. It's not a matter of reward. It's not a matter of avoiding punishment. Not like the Kor Hazav said. It's like the Meshachachma explained. I would say the following. If you have a guy and he's ill and you want to know, should you feed him Shviyas or should you feed him Nevela? Let's say one is better for him. I would say, feed him Nevela. What do you mean? Nevela is more chamor. No, you're right, Nevela is more chamor. That's if you have two people. If one, two avaryonim, one eats Nevela and one eats Shviyas, the guy who eats Nevela is worse. Why? Because he's a Moirid. Not only does he not have Ava, he doesn't even have Yira. But this guy's allowed to eat. This guy's allowed to eat. He's an Achsay Bomos. It's mutter for him to eat. So now he wants to know, Yubban Shalom. You tell me what you would like me to eat. Ban Shalom says, I value, I value the demonstration of, of, of Ase. I value Ase more than I value Lois Ase. So, oh, Ban Shalom, you value Ase more than Lois Ase. Why do you value it? Only because you give reward for Ase and you give punishment? That's not why I value it. That's just symptomatic of God's value system. So the Kor Hazav wants to say that what the Ramban means, it's only a matter of reward and punishment. That's why Kula, you get more punishment for love. But if it's Ase versus Lois Ase, where you could get reward, go after the Ase, maybe the Meshach Chachma is saying it's not just a matter of getting reward. It's a matter of when the two contradict each other and you want to know what the Yubon Shem values more, he values Ase more, not just because you have the opportunity to get reward. So maybe then we could reconcile the Ramban with the Gemara and Yuma, that the Ramban will use everybody. You ready for this? I'm him to the Kor Hazav. The Ramban never said Ase is more Chamar. The Ramban just said it's G'dayla. But it's not just G'dayla because... You could get schar. It's good dialogue because in God's value system, Asei represent the Milo of Ava Hashem and Lois Asei represent the Milo of Yira Hashem. So the same way the Korazov agrees that if it's Asei against the Lois Asei, you should go after the Asei. 
because the say is greater. Now the Quran itself says, well, because you could get reward, but I would extend it to a case even if you don't get reward. Even if Misha Afsay Bomos, and you want to know what you should feed the guy, maybe we could say that even though Bukhala Tara Kula, Lav is more Khamer than Asay, mm-hmm. but still Asay is Doicha Lais Asay. Because of the demonstration of Ava, and therefore, if someone's Misa Achsay Bomas, like the Gemara's Masha, feed the guy Nevela before you feed him Shviyas. Now, let me just share with you Hashem, a very. Hashem would rather him not to violate an Asay. Hashem would say, look, you're not rebelling against me, so now you want to know which one is greater? You're better off. Uh, the, in the value system, violating the Asay is, is worse. Is worse. Yeah, Maybe. If he was a doctor there and he told you, this one is healthier for you for the chola. <coughs> that would take precedence over a loisa say or an assay. Of course. We're dealing with dealing with that. They're both. Yeah, we're foods dealing with really all, all things being equal. equal. Well, right. equal. If yeah. The, one right. food was more. That would take precedence yes. over an yeah. assay. Okay. Now we'll end up with this question. I forgot to write where the maramakam is. It is in the Shas of Shuvah's Shalom Eishiv, the second volume, the first chelak Shuvah Tzadihe. So he says like this. We know the Ramban says, Ase is doicha lois ase. And therefore, Ase is doicha, that's because of Ava is greater than Yira. Now we know Ase is only doicha lois ase, be'idna. Be'idna means that if at the time you're violating the lois ase, you're mekayim the ase, only then Ase is doicha lois ase. But what if the ase is not at the time of, vi- of the violation of the law, then Asay is not Doich Asay. It's a well-known cloud. Asay is only Doich Alois Asay all right? Like Toysa says in uh, Baba Basra, by the Chatsi Eved, Chatsi Ben Chayren. So who does the guy marry? Right? To marry a Shifra, can't. To marry a Bas Chayren, can't. So what do you do? Libata, Valoi, Loi Nivra, Elul, Leper, Virev, Yashinamar, right? Right? So therefore, what do we do? We make him free. Ask Toysus, what's the problem? Why can't his half of, of Eved marry the... Why can't his half of Ben Chayren marry the Shifcha? I say the Chalais, I say. So Toysus says, what's the Asay of Puravu? You're not Mekayim until the Gemar Bia. And the lav of living with the shivcha, you're already uh, you're already over b'ha'ara. So therefore, the asay is not coming be'idna, right? It's a well-known claim that if you want to say asay doichalais asay, it's only if it happens at the exact same time. Ask the the shaylameshiv, Rabbi Yosef Shal Levi Natanzan. There's a klal in shas that we tell you: Are you allowed to sin? a small sin, so that your friend will not be over a big Avera. Like the Gemara in Masech Shabbos, where, where your friend put uh, um, your friend put dough in the oven, bread in the oven, on Arab Shabbos, and you want to take it out on Shabbos, which is only an Iser Drabanon, but if you don't take it out, your friend will be over an Iser Dairaisa of Afia. So we say, Sin, Chatei, Kedei Sheyiska Chavercha. How are you taking out the Rabbanon? What are you doing? The Rabbanon said, Osa You can't take out bread that's baking in an oven on Shabbos. Okay? So the Gemara says, We say, So ask the Shalom Eishev, If you're allowed to do a small sin so that your friend doesn't violate a big Avera, then then why can I do a small sin so that I don't violate a big Avera? <laughs> if you could do a small Avera to save, somebody else. To, to save your friend from a big Avera, why can't I do a small Avera to save myself? So therefore he asks, no, Why don't I say, Ase is doiche lois ase, even not be'idna. In other words, I want to live with this chatsi uh, uh, right, ben chayren. The guy's stuck. He can't have ki- he can't have children his whole life because he's known to marry. So Tosis asked, "So live with the shifcha, and we'll say I say do chalais, I say pruravu will push off laisia kadesha." Tosis says, "No, because it's not happening at the same time. Big deal. 
So I'll do a small Avera so that I'll be Zoycha to a big mitzvah. If I could do a small Avera so my friend could be Zoycha, I'm not worse than my friend. I'm worse than my friend. I could save my friend's skin. I can't save my own skin. Chayecha koidem. I'll lom the shakasha. If you say, Chatei b'shul she yizka chavercha, then why can't I say, I say doich loisa, say even shaloi be'idna. Because after all, the Ramban says in Parshas Yisroi, a, um, Ava is greater than Yira. Yeah. So, so what's greater? Ava is greater than Yira. So this is the Kasha of the Shalom He says, Mashiksha, Bahadid as Ramban, Parshas Yisrael, I say, Chomer Milois, I say, Lakach, I say, Dech Lois, I say, Baham a first, and I recall the Zavaz, the Hikshidim came Lomaloi, Dochi, Gam, Shaloi, but in a Hakaimalanda, Imam Adam, Chate Kadesh, Yiska, Havera, we tell a person sin. So that his friend has merit, and it's a rabbi, come aboard, but toys for Shabbos, and Abdalid, who will come, come as him, came Kavachomer Advarim, Im, Liskois, Havera, he tiro, lay lasses, is her kal, if so my friend could be Zoycha, I could do a small Avera, Mikoshke, and Liskois, Oysa, and Mitzasa. Oh, if I could do a small sin so that my friend can avoid violating a lav, what's better? Fulfilling an assay or violating a lav? The Rabban says fulfilling an is greater than, than violating a lav. So if I could do a small sin so that my friend could save himself from a small thing, why can't I violate a lav so that I could be zoicha to a greater thing? The pshita darmal elachtar b'lo isa say akal k'deish yitzgah ba'asay achamura. So he's, he's siding with the Ramban. Ramban. He's asking based on this Ramban. So this is a good question to think about over Shabbos. You say over the table. You think about it the whole night. And hopefully before you fall asleep, before you shana the Shabbos Tainog, you'll come up with an answer. Wish you all a good Shabbos. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.